The clock is ticking. Total Shan 2020 is almost here. It is Shan Countdown on CRL TV News and we bring you the hype to January 16. Africa, yelele, Africa, yelele, we are champions. You may be wondering what is happening to the intermediate lions during this period where preparations have heightened ahead of uh, the competition that is upcoming. Well, the Minister of Sports and Physical Education, Assis Mrele Kombi, visited the intermediate lions in CAM at Bankumbo. The marathon session was to inspire the team as the brace up for next month's events. Let's take a look with Daniel Konde. Minister Narcisse Mwelekombi's visit to the CAF Excellence Center aimed at encouraging the intermediate Lions. And probably their second to the last campaign, the team started off with a friendly game against Apeges Onfu, with a sports boss present. What is needed for uh, this uh, very important competition is not only a very good organization of uh, the events, it's also for us, Cameroonian, the victory. The victory of our intermediate lions. That's why I am here today to encourage our uh, players. The minister also appreciated the technical staff's work up till date. A crew that had a full house, from the principal coach to members of the technical bench. Coach Martin Tungumpile was without some key players who are off on duty with Cotton Sport in the CAF Confederations Cup. His upbeat to knock the team to a better shape before the D-Day. Being the host country, it will be disgraceful if we don't get the cup or at least reach the finals. Well, here now is the Minister of Sports and Physical Education, Assis Mwele Kombi, on his expectations of the intermediate Lions after his visit to their camp in Bankumo. This uh, very important competition is not only a very good organization of uh, the events, it's also for us, Cameroonian, the victory. The victory of our intermediate lions. That's why I am here today to encourage our uh, players to encourage our team and to ask them to be in uh, the spirit of uh, what we are uh, considering uh, after the head of state as the fighting spirit. This uh, fighting spirit, uh, with this fighting spirit, we are sure that we are going to win this trophy and we want them to be united. We want them to be uh, strong. Africa, yelele, Africa, yelele, we are the Continental Tournament brings together 16 national teams and the matches will be played across the littoral center and southwest regions. The excitement of Cameroonians is building as the game approaches. Take a look. Most Boya inhabitants have expressed great joy about the fact that the southwest region will be hosting Chan and Khan. Being a, an inhabitant of Boya, I feel privileged to witness uh, a, a tournament like that. I'm very excited, you know. You know. Uh, it comes, I think, it can come in a country maybe once in a while when you are still alive. Though. So if it happens that I'm still alive, uh, I'm just be happy. Which, according to them, the upcoming football tournament have brought about major development and that they will also bring about economic boost when the competitions effectively kick off. We are being one of those cities that will be hosting some of the teams. I think that we are going to experience some activities here that we have never experienced. We need uh, our roads to be innovated, mostly something. I think that if it happens in the area, they are going to, to, to 
the road. Most importantly, these boy inhabitants and football lovers are expecting that amidst the sociopolitical crisis, Chan will serve as a unifying factor and source of joy. I think football is a unifying factor in Cameroon and the world at large. So I'm expecting that during this period, many things, hatred, anger, will, be, will subside. And I think that will be a, the beginning of a new life that we have to experience. For now, the structures have been put in place and Boya inhabitants are calling on their brothers and sisters to contribute in making the upcoming football tournament successful. Well, this event is coming at a time when the world has been struck by a deadly pandemic. The championship is to be played in Cameroon with spectators under the strict respect of COVID-19 barrier measures. The different stadia across the country will be filled at 25 percent. Let's know more with Romeo Kenny. At last, the Confederation of African Football Cup grants access of fans into stadia during the upcoming African Nations Championship in Cameroon with a quota of spectators determined from kickoff day. But this has to be done in strict compliance with anti-COVID-19 measures. CAF has decided that 25% of supporters will be allowed to enter the stadiums during group stages. But the exigencies are that everyone must put on a face mask. This will help reduce any possible contamination risk. From a mathematical view, this implies 10,000 football lovers can troop into the 40,000 Yawundi Omispo Stadium when Cameroon takes on Zimbabwe in the tournament's opener. The number may increase subsequently in the competition if no health concerns are raised. During the knockout stage of the tournament, number of supporters per stadium will likely move to 50%. We wish everything moves on as planned. The president of the local organizing committee of Shan 2020, Professor Narcisse Mole Kombi, disclosed these informations while on a routine visit to the Fandana site. Africa, yelele, Africa, yelele, we are Cameroon has been blessed with beautiful sports infrastructure to host the upcoming championship of January 16. And as our reporter Baldwin Sama tells us, modern sports facilities and training grounds have been made available in the cities of Douala, Limbe and Yaoundé. Situated in the Omnispo neighborhood in Yaoundé, the Yaoundé Amadou Aijo Stadium stands out tall as one of the first stadia to be constructed in Cameroon, given that this stadium hosted matches of the 1972 Africa Cup of Nations Cameroon organized. Many years after its construction, this 40,000 capacity stadium has been impressively renovated to match international standards. From the entrance into the stadium, an onlooker is attracted by the beautiful courtyards and wall-labeled parking lot. The pitch has been changed many times and modern natural grass planted to meet recommended norms. The different tribunes are well differentiated with spelled out labelings. There is a commentary booth for journalists, while the different players enjoy the beauty of the different dressing rooms that have equally been renovated. The different restrooms passing through the press conference halls, security check rooms, and electronic gates, this stadium simply confirms why most of Cameroon's international matches are being played here. Group A teams of the 2021 African Nations Championship will therefore enjoy their stay here as they have their next number one and two of this stadium and likewise the military stadium as their training grounds. It is considered one of the best in the world given its beauty. The 50,000 Japoma Sports Complex is one of Cameroon's latest infrastructural jewel constructed at the entrance into the nation's economic capital Douala from the central region. The main stadium was completed over a year ago with a free access road already completed. The different seats in this stadium look attractive and world labeled. The Japoma Stadium has attracted all and sundry and even the Confederation of African Football that proposed that this year's CAF Champions League final be played here, but the coronavirus pandemic killed the dream. 
the stadium continues to seduce many who dream to be in the shoes of Group B teams of next year's African Nations Championship, a dream of playing in one of uh, the most up-to-date sports facilities, having a world carved out parking lot and other courts presently undergoing finishing touches. Still in the nation's economic capital, Douala, Group C teams of the African Nations Championship will play their matches here at the renovated Douala Reunification Stadium. Situated in the Bepanda neighborhood in Douala, this 40,000 capacity stadium has undergone structural changes and today stands out tall as one of the leading stadiums in Cameroon. The intermediate Lions have trained here on several locations ahead of the African Nations Championship and an international qualifying match for the 20th Africa Cup of Nations between Morocco and the Central African Republic will be played here on November 17. With Mbappé Lepe and Bonamusa de Stadia to serve as training grounds for Group C. After hosting matches of the 2016 Africa Women's Cup of Nations, the 20,000 capacity Limbe Omnispo Stadium is ready to welcome Group D teams of next year's African Nations Championship. Situated in Geme, this stadium is blessed with modern facilities, VIP halls, tribunes, and pitches that fall within specificities of international norms. And just like the others, these are telling signs that Cameroon's rich history of successfully organizing football competitions will be reiterated during the 2021 African Nations Championship. The Cameroon Radio Television has demonstrated its progress in transmitting live matches at the Shan, and this was made visible at a test game pitching Seman's Olympic against Leon Blessé of Cameroon. Let's now listen to the Chief Technology Officer of uh, CRTV, Theophilus Chia, on how prepared the state broadcaster is for this event. So who's broad broadcaster? We, s we have the most, we must produce the international signal for the events. And uh, today, the Tuesday, we, are, we have deployed in, like it was in real time, and in real time, like it was a real match, to test try our platform, technical platform, but also the deterioral aspect of a production. So we don't have only technicians here, but we have also uh, people who do commentaries for, for a live match. And that all will be tested, and tomorrow we have an evaluation mission, meeting with CAF on these aspects. CRTV, we deploy uh, two OB vans, one for the Yaoundé, Yaoundé side, one for the Japuma side, and uh, they have just, government have just recently acquired a, a flight case of 22 camera capacity. One of them will be deployed at the Reunification Stadium, the other one in the Ngeme uh, Stadium in Limbe. Well, you've seen it for yourself and you've heard it all, coronavirus or not, Cameroon is ready to host the seat edition of the African Nations Championship coming up on January 16. And we are all upbeat. The event will be a successful one. So stay with us as we count down to Shan 2020. Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are